Hello friends, the other day I was taking a lecture on transport processes and uh, I was describing the diffusion and uh, I mentioned a statement uh, related to the diffusion that uh, diffusion can go from high to low or low to high concentration but net diffusion goes from high to low concentration and in that sense it's a downhill transport. Uh, some students uh, were did not particularly like that statement where I said it can go from low to high concentration and they started questioning it. Sir, how can you say it goes from it can go from low to high concentration? We have always learned that the diffusion is a passive transport. It's a downhill transport and it always goes from high to low concentration. Yes, that is correct. But there is a small correction in that. Your concept is right, but just add a word net net transport. So let's understand what uh, I am trying to establish here. Uh, look, simple diffusion or facilitated diffusion, both are passive transports, they do not require ATP. And net diffusion, net transport of a simple or facilitated type, it will occur from high to low concentration. But please understand, it can go from high to low or low to high concentration, net transport occurs from high to low concentration. I mean, what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, let's say sodium, uh, sodium is inside the cell and outside of the cell. And of course, 141 milliequivalents per liter on the outside and 14 milliequivalents per liter on the inside. So, it can go from high to low or low to high, but net transport will always occur from high to low concentration from outside to inside. That means, uh, let's say 100 ions are coming in and 4 ions are going out, then 96 net uh, ions uh, or 96 ions net are transported from high to low concentration from, from outside to inside. Now still some students were not convinced with this. Then I had to uh, explain that concept further. Look, simple diffusion, since we have started with uh, simple diffusion, sodium ions they uh, are transported through the channels and it's a simple diffusion. Now simple diffusion occurs how? It occurs by virtue of kinetic energy of the particles, kinetic energy of the molecules. And you know, uh, you must have done this in the previous years, pre-medical school, that kinetic energy is responsible for that Brownian movement. It can go randomly in any direction. So uh, kinetic energy is present very much for the sodium which is inside as well as outside. So sodium can move in any direction and therefore it can go from high to low or low to high but net transport will occur from high to low concentration. So let that be clear because it is occurring by virtue of kinetic energy of the molecules it can go in any direction uh, high to low or low to high but net uh, so without using the word net don't use this word uh, transport. Okay, so net transport occurs always as downhill transport. Now that's about simple diffusion. Easily understandable because it's kinetic energy. What about the facilitated diffusion? Does that also uh, tra uh, get transported high to low and low to high and net transport is high to low? Yes, even there same uh, concept applies even for facilitated diffusion, it can go from high to low or low to high, but net transport occurs from high to low always. It's a downhill transport. Now facilitated diffusion is a carrier mediated transport. All right. And uh, carrier for transport of a particular substance. Let's say glucose is being transported and uh, glucose is high on the outside and low on the inside of the cell. Now this carrier can carry glucose from high to low 
or low to high but net transport occurs always from high to low concentration you know let me give you an example uh, let's say secondary active transport is another type of transport uh, in which a carrier is involved and carrier uh, in that example in that type of transport the carrier carries the substance from low to high concentration at least one substance is being carried from low to high concentration in secondary active transport which means carriers can carry the substances from low to high concentrations yes it is possible then why in this case in the case of facilitated diffusion it uh, it carries the substance from high to low only i mean net transport is from high to low only because now that's the most important part so look at uh, this part carefully and imbibe this concept let the concept be imbibed in your brain forever the carrier in the case of facilitated diffusion works on a very simple principle and i'm writing that principle in a very simple manner high concentration is equal to high affinity and low concentration is equal to low affinity uh, i am writing i have written is equal to but what i mean here is the carrier for facilitated diffusion works on this principle that it can carry the substance from high to low or low to high it can bind in any direction and transport the substance but wherever there is high concentration of that substance there is high affinity for the carrier and therefore uh, the substance will bind mainly and wherever there is low concentration of that substance there is low affinity for that for the carrier and therefore low affinity means this uh, that molecule that substance can easily dissociate from the carrier and therefore it is released it is delivered where there is low concentration so remember this facilitated diffusion uh, carrier is involved and carrier could carry high to low or low to high but net transport will occur eventually from high to low only because wherever there is high concentration high affinity for the carrier will exist and therefore mainly there will be binding the it cannot be easily liberated there and wherever there is low concentration there is low affinity of that substance for the carrier so uh, the substance can be easily released or deliverable and therefore it goes from high to low as a net transport okay so therefore uh, what i mean here is net transport and therefore without using the word net uh, the the concept will be only partly correct half truth so always say net transport always occurs downhill in the case of passive transports